worm infections also referred to as helminth infections. This means the parasites typically reside in the intestines, consuming the host's food, vitamins, and minerals. They cause inflammation, nutritional deficiency, and sometimes physical blockage in the intestines. However, the majority of worm infections in adults are asymptomatic, with about 70% of cases showing no symptoms. These worms can live in the intestine for many years, and most will not clear up without treatment. The three most common symptoms of worm infections are abdominal pain, diarrhea, and nausea. The symptoms are usually not very severe, generally mild, and intermittent, meaning the pain comes and goes. This pain, along with diarrhea and nausea, can persist for months, indicating a chronic infection. Another definitive sign of worm infection is the presence of worms in the stool. Pinworms or threadworms are the most common causes of worm infections in adults. The primary symptom of pinworms is an itchy anus, which becomes more intense at night when the female worms move to the anus to lay their eggs. Although this infection is usually not dangerous, persistent infections can lead to sleep disturbances and discomfort. Transmission typically occurs via the fecal-oral route. The eggs can survive on surfaces, and infection often occurs by ingesting these eggs after touching contaminated surfaces. There are no specific blood tests for threadworms, but a diagnostic tape test is commonly used. For treatment, antiparasitic medications such as mebendazole or albendazole are effective. Due to their high contagiousness, it is often recommended that all household members be treated. If left untreated, a threadworm infection can last for several years. While it is not life-threatening or serious, it can lead to secondary bacterial skin infections due to itching. The second most common worm infection in adults is caused by hookworms, specifically Ancelostoma duodenale. The early symptom is a skin rash at the site where the larva penetrates the skin, which is usually itchy. Chronic infections can lead to anemia, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and protein deficiency. The most serious complication is iron deficiency anemia, especially concerning in pregnant women, as it can increase mortality among women and cause growth and development problems in children. Anemia is an important sign of hookworm infection, as it can cause blood loss through the stool, leading to iron deficiency anemia. The most significant change in the blood during a worm infection is a high eosinophil count. Eosinophils are almost always elevated during parasitic infections. Immunoglobulin E IgE, levels are also elevated in many cases of worm infection. Wearing shoes in endemic areas is crucial, as walking barefoot is the main risk factor for hookworm infection. A common finding in blood tests is microcytic hyperchromic anemia, which is due to iron deficiency. Additionally, a high eosinophil count can be observed. Treatment typically includes albendazole or mebendazole, an iron supplementation in cases of anemia. The third most common helminth in adults is the tapeworm. Tapeworms can cause a serious condition known as neurocystisicosis, which occurs when larvae invade the central nervous system. This condition is typically caused by the worm Tenia solium. Tenia solium can lead to seizures and severe neurological symptoms. Other tapeworms can absorb vitamin B12, leading to vitamin B12 deficiency. The most common transmission route of tapeworms is through the consumption of raw or undercooked meat including pork, beef, and fish. Tapeworm infections often resolve without treatment, but if neurocystisicosis develops, treatment becomes necessary. The best diagnostic methods for neurocystisicosis are imaging tests like MRI and CT scans. Prezequintel is commonly used to treat tapeworm infections, and in cases of neurocystisicosis, Anti-inflammatory medications and anti-epileptic drugs may also be required.